uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans of Earth and Tokyo, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Bush, and today's video about the KPZ-50T. Now, I was going to make a video on this tank because it was available uh, in game, but not so much anymore because I was too late. Another thing's happened and I'm starting a whole new channel on another mobile game called Terrace Land, which is an RPG. If you want to check that out, Terrace Land Mobile, just go check it out. But back to Blitz. And doesn't the game look spectacular at the moment? This is the iPad M4. Game looks unbelievable. And this tank looks especially unbelievable. One of the things I've really always enjoyed about Blitz is the art department. The art department in Blitz knocks its stuff out of the park every single time. They really do nail it. And uh, just as well, because sometimes the tanks themselves can be a touch disappointing. Like my team here is slowly flailing around in the ether. Uh, but this is genuinely a very, very nice tank. It is a lovely vehicle with a lot going for it. And it's interesting to me that at a time when there are so many great tech tree tanks, the KPZ-50T still manages to offer something a little bit special that you don't get elsewhere without being incredibly overpowered. Very mobile, very sneaky. You can see me with lots of grubs around me just trying to use this E4 and make him feel the pain as, I mean, inevitably, there was quite a few here. A lot of people, a lot of people. But it's got a very strong turret. It's got enormous amounts of DPM. And it's got a very interesting loadout. You can run your consumables. Namely, tungsten shells. Now, the tungsten shell, you've probably seen that on the second European line if you run it. Or uh, on, you know, some of the TDs. And it's a great thing to have access to. A lot of the mediums don't really have the kind of alpha damage you'd want with a tungsten shell. Basically, when you're running tungsten shells, you're doing a flat, uh, 100, not a flat, you do 105 to 125% of your normal damage. So you've got to really be a little bit cautious with it that you don't just hit it. But you can either use it to extend your DPM by running adrenaline rush and then running tungsten shells consecutively, or you can, where did that go? Or you can run them at the same time concurrently and absolutely spank. And uh, the reason it works so well with this tank is your DPM is already high. 3,600 alpha, you're not getting as many big alpha shots like you would with a Jaeger or something, but you are getting a lot more shots in overall. So it's the secret is basically in the volume. And the tank also has, well, the turret's not impervious. You can can it around the gun mantlet with high penetration heat shells. Uh, but for all that, it's strong enough that when you are hull down as a medium, it's able to do very nice things. And your gun depression, likewise, at eight degrees, again, it's not like the best, but it's very good. It's a, it's a solid number, gun depression-wise. Uh, you'd love 10. Hell, you'd take 11. But 8 is a whole hell of a lot better than your 6 or your 5s or, you know, Chinese medium tank, SU-100M1 kind of tank, uh, which is not so much fun at all. Mobility-wise, you're also a cracking little tank. Moves pretty quick, uh, gets around, is very agile, in terms of actually traversing 49.95 uh, tons with a fairly solid uh, terrain resistance ratio and a 74 degree rate of when you're all, this is when you're all geared up, all the bells and whistles with your equipment, um, 74 degrees of hull traverse. If there's anywhere that it probably falls down, I mean, and this is, not really a, a big issue for me. I don't find it uh, to be a big issue at all. It's like, it's not going to have a big alpha strike, right? So you're going to have to spend a lot of time on target to do your damage, which means you're going to often have to expose yourself to do your damage. And that's fair enough because you can't have absolutely everything. Otherwise, you know, 
why would people run anything but the absolute best tanks? The tank looks spectacular too. Can we just acknowledge that? Like as as it goes grumbling around, it looks absolutely sensational. Uh, and we're going to win this one. I track him just there so he can't get down to get my buddy. I'm pretty sure we've got it one there, 985, and then that doesn't do any damage. And and I'm like, oh, I better get this guy killed because that hurt a lot. And this could be bad news, and we get it. It's all right. Show you one more game. KPZ50T. Now, the funny thing is I was going to do this video when the event was on. Uh, you could roll for the KPZ50T. Um, I don't think you can anymore, and that's my fault. Um, because, as I mentioned, I have been very busy. There's some mystery box draw going on now. But if you were lucky enough to get this, or even if you were thinking about it, it will pop up again. Hell, this is the second or third time that I've actually run into this. Thing. Um, I'm going to show you it in a very, very nasty kind of brawling game. Um, one of the things I don't love about this map is it's almost like you come out here and you're just guessing. Is my team going to support me? Are the enemy heavies going to come this way? Uh, am I going to get rushed? Is there going to be enough players here from the TDs in the back to actually hurt me? And that's where you generally take damage is from the TDs at the back because it's hard to get the gun down. But tanks like that Karo and that object... You need to either be up or you need to be back. You can't just sit like all the way at the back there and expect not to get hit. I don't know what the standard B is doing. There are obviously four red tanks there. He is always going to struggle. Snuck that one underneath the Concept B's lower glacis. Very proud of that shot. Standard B is not long for this earth, but he might be the honeypot that drags them in. Object 84, loud and proud, still available. And look at this tank go. Like a, This is the angle you want to be hitting showing nothing but that turret and your upper glacis which is actually a pike nose now it's not like the is3's pike you're not really gonna bounce a lot but your turret can bounce a hell of a lot if you're given the right opportunity i'm worried about the tds but i also know that this has become very much a mathematical equation where we have to clear these guys before we die uh bang oh shit i thought i was safe behind the standard b there 775 really didn't enjoy that one am i going to get hit by anyone else and this is where bushka is stuck uh on the tank in front of him because he's an idiot and this is his shot then cops a lovely 640 and then another bounce which was pretty handy and then the gun's broken and it won't turn and oh there it's back and this is the high rate of fire that we talked about earlier love it great way to deliver the dose I don't know about you, but I get a warm, fuzzy feeling in my tummy when the TDs at the back that have sat there the whole time while everyone up here was playing for blood sports, uh, just completely out of position and doing nothing with their alphas or the guns. And you know in your heart that your team has got it because they were the more aggressive and the, uh, the friendliest on tour. This is another big issue with this tank. Uh, this is actually a weakness. If you are running the calibrated shells, the tungsten shells, and the uh, adrenaline rush, you need to be running the multi-kit, and the cooldown on the multi-kit is quite a, a long one. Um, it And it's, it's tough because your consumable delivery system, which is your top specialization, uh, cost it will lower the cooldown speed of the consumables but i run the high-end consumables because we're here for maximum output right and high-end consumables gives you 33 percent of the duration of the consumables which means you're doing a lot more damage during the time you're running adrenaline rush and tungsten shells but you're also waiting a lot longer if the multi-kit goes down uh, I hope you enjoyed that. The KPZ50T, an absolute jats cracker of a tank. Don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, tell your friends, and uh, just be nice to each other. Enjoy yourself out there. And uh, until next time, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.